Welcome, I'm the Word Nerd, and we're going to talk about my homeschool room and give you a tour. So, yeah. <laughs> if you're into this, great. If not, check out my other videos. <laughs> so, this channel is really about Bible and Bible study and, you know, spreading the gospel of Christ. But I think homeschooling is part of my ministry, definitely part of my motherly ministry, I guess you'd say but it's definitely a part of me and who i am and i wanted to share it with you guys i shared my son's uh, testimony video and you know i said that we homeschool and so yeah i just got done with the homeschool room basically setting it up and getting everything planned out and uh just wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully if you are planning on homeschooling or you homeschool already Hopefully this can give you some inspiration, encouragement, um, you know, information. I don't know, but yeah, it's just going to be a quick tour. So yeah, let's just get into it. So as you enter the door, you turn right and you enter our homeschool room. So first walk in on the right. This is my desk. Um, so this is a homeschool room, but it's also our arts and crafts room. Um, so my desk is just full of a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, but, you know, basic things. Over here is really all the organization for homeschool. So this is separated. And so this is my son's. He's in first grade, and this is my daughter. He's She is in kindergarten. And then um, this is kind of my stuff. This is the subjects we'll do together. Um, so we're going to learn about uh, science, and we got art, and we got um, learning geography of the United States. And these are like shared folders. And then these two folders are what I'm calling their star folders. So it Basically, it's going to give them a sense of accomplishment after accomplishing um, different things. They'll get stars, and at the end of the year, it will show their um, accomplishments as a whole. So, you know, I think that's pretty, pretty cool. That's how I organize it. Every subject has a folder, and each kid has their own folder, folder so... I know what's going on. <laughs> and as you continue, there's my recording equipment, my backpack, and then this bookshelf that we got, I think, for free. And I repainted it and put some bees on it because I'm artsy. <laughs> and yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff. Books and math stuff and other books. And this is kind of like our art basket that I made this year and then we get to the desks so my daughter has a desk and my son has a desk stuck this table in between because they don't need to sit that close to each other they will fight <laughs> and yeah so each um child has um a little bucket and it has pencils, dry erase markers, scissors, glue, sharpener, they each have a ruler, you know, different things that they'll need to just be able to grab. Um, always tissues, never know when you're going to need a tissue, it's always good to have. And these buckets right here are their done buckets. So once they're done with a subject or a worksheet or whatever they're doing, they put it in their done bucket and that shows them their progress during the school that we're doing and then we come to this there's a printer paper this is math stuff um, speech stuff language arts stuff um, there's stamps and magnetic US map puzzle some other stiff yep and we got some decorations on the wall we're, we also I also teach ASL, so going got that little cute thing, and just got some more decorations. I really, I really like them. 
Then over here, we got this corner. So this is where we do our daily calendar. Got some posters. And so this is actually my box. This is my art stuff, and my YouTube stuff, my stuff. This is the arts and crafts bin or dresser thing that I keep for the kids. So there's that. <laughs> we do our daily calendar every day. And then also we have the today's rhythm. So it's basically a schedule, but the children can choose um, what order they do the subjects in. And for geography, science, and art, we will we'll be rotating those out each day. So if we do science, like for today, then we'll do art or geography in that place of science the next day. And it's just fun for them to be able to, you know, choose what they do. But we always do prayer calendar and then our talk about our word and our scripture verse that we are learning. And then our star chart is those folders. See if they can, you know, if they've accomplished anything or, you know, see if they really learned and know something, you know, just fun stuff like that. I have a calendar, a school calendar, just for me. And I'm not really sure where I'm going to hang this yet. That's why it's kind of just laying there. Have it decided where. This is a random basket I got recently. Not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, so we got our prayer for the day. We pray every day. We got our homeschool vision and mission statement. And yeah, I like this corner. It's nice. Bunch of art stuff I need to clean up over there. But yeah. Then we got our dry erase board. Chalkboard's on the back. And... I got this really cool pointer from Walmart. I love pencils and I'm like, I need this in my life. So my daughter likes to make smiley faces. So, cause I got other pencils on my desk. I got that one and this one and you know. So yeah, that's a quick tour of my homeschool room. If you want something more in depth, let me know and I can do that for you. So yeah, thanks, bye.